Oh, say can you see by the dawn's early light what so proudly we held at the twilight's last gleaming whose broad stripes and bright stars through the perilous fight for the ramparts we watch were so gallantly streaming and the rocket's red glare the bombs bursting in air gave proof through the night that our flag was still there oh say does that star-spangled Banner yet wave for the land and of the free and the home of the brave. Thank you, ma'am. We're getting ready to go racing here. Void and Hurricane Barry, we're getting ready to go racing. Roy Bo Bodie, car number 44, he'll bring them down into turn number three. Jason Ford, car number 30 on the outside of him. Here we go for he race number one. Going off into turn number one, it's going to be Jason Ford leading them down the back straightaway. Roy Bodie, car number 44, he'll drop in the number two spot. Down the back straightaway, side by side. Bodie, car number 44 on the inside. Jason Ford, your leader for lap number one. Edwards, car number D3, in the number two spot. Kellogg, car number three GT, in the number five spot. He'll make it four as he goes to the inside. Bodie drove high. We're going three wide through turns number three and four. Roy Bodie, car number 44, trying to hold on to that number three spot. Edwards to your leader on the back straightaway as he overhauls the number 30 of Jason Ford. Jason Ford usually drives the number 45 factory stock. Got him a brand new car. Hadn't had a chance to have it rewrapped. Down the back straightaway. Here we go. It's going to be car number D3. Edwards, your leader, into turn number three and four. This is heat race number one for the limited modified zero showtime speedway. Roy Bodie, car number 44, holds on to the number three spot. Check out the photographer at the top of the corner over there. That's kind of scary. Down the back straightaway. Edwards going to stretch out the lead. Jason Ford, car number 30, in the number two spot. We've had a couple of thunder showers out here this so far this evening, but everything's all good right now. Looks like the weather's going to hold off and go around us. Kellogg goes around to turn number three. He'll hold it there. We're going to see if we're going to get a caution. Caution will fly for Bob Kellogg, car number three, GT, in turn number three. Six laps in, two to go. Coming off of turn number four, here comes your leader, Jason Ford. Just, oh, I'm sorry, David Edwards, car number D3. Jason Ford, car number 30 in the number, make it three spot. Williams going to try to get up there and force him back. Bodie, car number 44, after drift to the back, he's worked his way back to the number two spot on the restart. White flag in the air as they come off of turn number four. Down the front straightaway. Jason Ford drops the third. Bodie, car number 44 to the number two spot. Edwards is your leader driving that home-built ERC race chassis. Into turn number four. Bob Kellogg looking to race as they go into turn number three and four. Coming off of four. Kellogg around. Bodie's going to be the number two finisher. Jason. All right, here we go into turn number three. We'll pick up the flag. The green flag as we come off of turn number four. Kerry Easton, car number 59. He'll drive him down the front straightaway. Kerry and Billy Gould, car number 60. Along with Jared Wallace, car number 54. Wallace up at the number two spot. Leedy currently sits in third, but he's trying to make it three wide as they go down the back straightaway. Kerry Easton says, you guys race. I'm going to sit out here in the number one spot. Kerry Easton, car number 59. Your leader down the front straightaway. Followed by Jared Wallace, car number 54. Leedy in the 90 car. 
Down the back straightaway, Kerry Eason, car number 59. He was in Austin, Texas last night. Got a phone call, said, man, let's go racing. So here they are racing out here tonight. Said he's riding on about three hours of sleep right now. Jared Wallace out of West Monroe, Louisiana, trying to run him down. Wallace at the high side. Easton on the bottom. Billy Gould, car number 60, having a good battle with a 90 car. Lady back here. This is for third and fourth or the back of the pack. They go down the back straightaway into turn number one and two. Still side by side. Your leader, Kerry Easton, car number 59, goes by. Battling now for third and fourth right now. Billy, Billy Gould, car number 60 out of Houston. Leedy in car number 90 in the number four spot. Back to your leaders, Kerry Eason sitting good out there. Shane Hebert is watching us on Facebook. Shane Hebert, you should be out here racing with us at Showdown Speedway. Coming off a of turn number four. Billy Gould, car number 90 in the number three spot. Leedy, car number 90 in fourth. Back to your leaders, no change up front. Jared Wallace going to run in. Try to run that midline all the way. Try to catch up to the car number 59 of Kerry Easton. He's tried a couple of different lines already trying to run him down. This time, Easton goes up high. Wallace goes up even higher. They'll go down the back straight away. White flags in the air. Coming off of turn number four for the pickup of the white flag, car number 59, Kerry Easton, followed by Jared Wallace. Turn number one and two. They'll hook it up and go down the back straight away. Wallace closed the gap a little bit, but Easton says, no, sir, I'm taking on this race here. Danny Abear is watching us along with us on Facebook Live here. So, Danny, I think the whole Abear family ought to be out here. Billy Gould, car number 60. Kevin Peters, car number 21. Didn't get a chance to talk to him. I think he's out of the Houston area. He's parked over there right next to Billy Gould. Here we go, coming down the back uh, in a three and four. Brandon Miller sitting out front, the protege of Wendell Wilkerson. Down the back straightaway. Brandon Miller, your leader in car number 77. Jason Sonier, car number 38 in the number two spot. Kevin Peters, car number 21 in third. So Brandon Miller, car number 77, your leader as they go down the back straightaway, followed by Jason Sonye out of West Monroe, Louisiana. Kevin Peters, possibly out of the Houston area, I'm not sure. And Huckabee, car number 12 to round out the field. Brandon Miller, car number 77, having a great run out here. So Brandon Miller will come around at a turn number three and four. He'll pick up the signal with two to go this time around. Brandon Miller, your current leader, led every lap so far. Jason Sawyer, car number 38 out of West Monroe, the number two spot. Kevin Peters, car number 21 in third. White flags in the air this time around. Brandon Miller got to hurry up, get back over there to Brobitch. He's got a hurricane coming to his house tonight. He lives right in the path of where Hurricane Barry is heading. Checker flags in the air for car number 77, Brandon Miller. The, the guy that pulls up alongside you at the red light, revs up the motor and then does a wheelie, it's the same motor that he does and in, those, in these cars as in those motorcycles. Now, as cool as these cars are, they like to put as small of a, no, a number on there. In fact, some of these numbers are so small, they're almost written in Braille. They're getting ready to come off of turn number four. We're going to light them off here. Green flag is in the air. Here we go racing. 
Matt Ebarb, car number 10. He'll get the jump on him. Car number 22. That is Weldon Buford in car number 22 in the number two spot. Behind him, the black and orange car. That is Mike Walling. Mike Walling out of Houston, Texas. He picked up a feature win over here the last time he was over here. So Mike Walling, car number 20. 29K, the black and orange car. Goes down the back straight away. He gets up to the number two spot. He sets his sights on Matt Ebarbs. Car number 10 as they go down into turn number three and four. Coming off of four. Here they go. Walling on the inside. Ebarb on the high side in the black and yellow number 10 car. The 22 car trying to run them back down. That is going to be driven by Wellen Buford out of Baytown, Texas. Walling, car number 29K is your new leader. We got a tire off a car. And it straight away, E Barb, car number 10, your leader, Mike Walling, car number 29. And still trying to figure out what some of these numbers are. Here, here we go, down the front straight away. 29K, sitting in the number two spot behind E Barb. E Barb goes up high, opens the door for Mike Walling. Mike Walling going even higher. Mike Walling in the black and orange car. He'll set it up, going into turn number three and four. He's going to dive down to the inside, not going to have enough power to get him. They'll go into turn number one and two. Walling is the leader through one. Side by side, down the back straight away. Walling in the black and orange car. e -barb in the all black car. Coming down out of turn number three and four. They'll come down the front straight away. They'll swap sides. Walling is your new leader. e is going to dive back to the inside, try to get back to that number one spot. All right, now Kinsley Cook's out there. She is eight years old. She's driving against grown men. Now, Kinsley, she gets an advantage of having that big wing on top of her car here. That's Kinsley Cook right now, car number 29K. Randall Trailer driving car number 21K. We just figured that out. He is certainly sitting in the number three spot. Now these cars, they usually run wings on top of them. With the wing, that's where they have the big numbers on the top of them. However, when you take the wings off, you can't see them at all. Mike Walling, car number 29K. He'll bring them into turn number three and four. He'll pick up the two to go for your flagman, Larry Horn, as they come off of turn number four. Mike Walling, 750 pounds, 600 cc engines. That's 750 pounds weighed with the driver after the races. So you figure the, uh, the driver weighs almost 200 pounds. So 550 pounds for a race car. White flags in the air. We got a good race right now for the number two spot. The 21K. He is trying to get around the inside of the 10 car of Matt Ebarb. 21K. He's got the number two spot as they go down the back straight away. That is Randall Trailer, car number 21K, coming off a of turn number four. It's going to be a 21K in the number two spot. So your winner, car out of uh, Alexandria, Louisiana. Here we go, off a of turn number four. I don't know if that's going to fly or not. Robert Bump driving a black and orange, number 1B. The 9 car of Scott Fridley comes off of turn number 4, side by side with the 26 car. Give it to the number 26 cars. They go down the front straight away. Scott Fridley, car number 9X is your new leader as they go down the back straight away. Into turn number three and four. Coming down the front straightaway. Scott Fridley is your leader, followed by the 26 car. James Griffin, car number 26, into the number two spot. Cody Sunley, car number 4X, in third. Robert Bum, car number 1B, in the fourth spot. Gio, car number 24. He owns the fifth spot, but he's got the 21 trying to get around him for the number five spot. Meanwhile, Fridley comes around. We got a caution on the track. We got a car spun around at the end of turn. Taylor Wineland in car number 25. Larry's got the flag up high in the air. Here we go. We're going back racing the Showtime Speedway. Scott Fridley, car number 9X. He'll carry him down the back straight away. 
with the 26 car of James Griffin in the number two spot, followed by Robert Bump, car number 1B in third. Coming down the front straightaway, Fridley still your leader. Gio, car number 24 in fourth. Taylor Wineland, car number 25. He's the car that's got a big blue light. That's an easy way to spot him. Driving for Kmart, the blue light special. Coming out of turn number four. Looking to try to get around Gio as he goes down the front straightaway. Trying to get up to the number four spot. Meanwhile, Scott Fridley, car number 9X, is your leader as they go into turn number three and four. He'll bring it around and down the front straightaway. They got a 10-lap heat race here for your wing 600s. They're going 20 laps of the feature. If you want to see all this race in action, go to raceontexas.com. For $9.99 a month, you can see every lap of the racing action out here for the features. We don't go live on Facebook for the features because, well, we need you to be in the, in the grandstands. Come out here and watch these races. Great races out here at Showtown Speedway every Friday night. Down the back straightaway, car number 9X. Scott Fridley. So Scott Fridley, car number nine, will be your winner, followed by the 26 car of James Griffin, Robert Bump, car number 1B in the... Stephen Greer, outside of him in car number 22. JT Turner, car number 35, here we go. Factory stock, heat race number one, Scotty Case, car number C7 on the outside of row number two. Scotty Dubois, car number 55. He'll round out the rest of the field. Alan Dirk. Dalton Dubois. Got lots of smoke out of the seven car. Scotty Case, Ford Power, smoking pretty hard here on the front straightaway. He'll pull down to the infield. We're going to keep him going. Alan Dirk, car number 50, your leader out of the Houston area. J.T. Turner, car number 35, in the number two spot, looking to take it away from him. Stephen Greer in car number 22. Dalton Dubois, car number 55, currently sits fourth, but he's right there trying to make it three wide. Ellender, car number 50, like I said, a while ago, he drew like a 40-something. He had the option, he bought in again, paid an extra 10 bucks. And he drew for the number one spot. So that's going to put him on the pole right now, the way it's looking for the feature event. Yep. Coming down the front straightaway, Josh Ellender, car number 50. JT Turner, car number 35 in second. Stephen Greer, car number 22 in third. So we're going to put all these cars out there for the feature event. It gets a wild one. So you need to come out here to Showtime Speedway and watch the races. If you're not here, you're going to be missing a good one tonight. Coming off of turn number four, Dalton Dubois side by side with Stephen Greer as they go down the front straightaway into turn number one and two. Dubois, something broke on the front of his car. He'll go park it in the infield. Tough break for him. White flags in the air as they come down the front straightaway. Josh Ellender, car number 50, your current leader. They go down the back straightaway. Car number 50, Josh Ellender. Brand new race car. Checker flag in the air for him. So Stephen Greer, car number 22, picks up the...
So Dusty Keith, car number 11 on the pole. Outside of him, can't see the car just yet. Here it goes. That's Bo Perry, car number 12, last week's feature winner. Edwards, car number D3. William is good, car number 18. Oh, barely taps him and he goes around. Coming off of turn, turn number four, Dusty Keith, car number 11. He'll fire it. Here we go. Up and running. Bo Perry, car number 12 on the high side. They're going to turn number one and two. Perry still on the high side. Keith on the inside, car number 11, driving a black number 11. And Brian Cook, car number 100, has worked his way to the rear bumper of the 11 car. Coming off of turn number three and four for lap number one. Bo Perry, car number 12. Driving a race car that is Daddy Bills. Car number 12, your leader down the back straightaway. Here comes Brian Cook, car number 100 plus in the number two spot. Down the back straightaway. Perry, still your leader. Brian Cook, car number 100. We've got a good race back here for third and fourth right now. Between Isgut and Dusty Heath in car number 11. William Isgut driving car number 18. Bo Perry, your leader. Pick up the halfway sign this time around from your flagman, Larry Horn, as they come down the front straight away. Good race right now for the third and fourth spot. Dusty Keith on the inside of William Isgut as they go down the back straightaway. This is the battle for third and fourth. Back to your leaders. Bo Perry, car number 12, is your leader. Two to go this time around. Two laps to go for Brian Perry. Bo Perry. So Bo Perry, he's led the whole way out of Bossier City, Louisiana. He'll carry him down the back straight away. Brian Cook. Not really able to make a charge on him. Coming out of turn number four to pick up the checkers. Last week's feature winner, Bo Perry, car number 12, followed by Brian Cook at car number 100. And your third place finisher coming home. The 18th. So Richard Tubbs, car number one, he'll bring them into turn number three. Into four, here we go. Colby Johnson, car number 28 now. Johnson is your leader. He gets loose, 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 loose. Watch out for that monster truck tire. You can only drive down there so far. Racing down the back straightaway. Todd Fredu, car number eight on the pole outside of him. C.J. Howe, car number two. Josh Greenwalk, car number 27. Richard Tubbs, car number one. They look like the Blue Angels as they go off into turn number one and two. Fredo goes high. C.J. Howell to the inside. C.J. Howell, car number two. He'll look to the inside. He'll have a half a car length on Todd Fredo at the end of the straightaway. Fredo will straighten it back up. Get back to the number one spot. Here comes C.J. Howell, car number two, back to the number one spot. Okay. 
So Todd Freydu racing good race right now between Todd Freydu and car number eight, C.J. Howell. They've been side by side the whole entire way. They'll go down the back straight away, side by side. Freydu, he's going to st stretch it out to finally get a car length. C.J. Howell, car number two on the bottom. And it's going to be Freydu by about a quarter of a fender length on that one there. C.J. Howell, he's going to hold down to the inside. Howell back at the number one spot. Here comes Greenwall, car number 27. Freydu to the inside. And Freydu is going to be your new leader as they come down the front straightaway. C.J. Howell, he's not giving up yet. He's on the inside. They'll go down the back straightaway. Greenwall's got the best seat in the house. They're hook bumpers. Greenwall said, excuse me, I'm coming around the top side. It's going to be Freydu that time around. Down the front straightaway. C.J. Howell back to the inside. Howell has got him by about a half a length out at midpoint. Todd Freydu, he'll pull him out by a car length as they go into turn number three and four. Down into the turn number four coming off. It's going to be C.J. Howe, your leader for that lap. And Greenwall, car number 27, he's still right there with him. Greenwall looks to the inside of car number 8 of Todd Freydu. All this race between Freydu and Greenwall, they go down the back straightaway. C.J. Howe has uh, tripped out to about a two-car lead over the number 8 car of Todd Freydu. C.J. Howe, car number 2, is your leader. A three, make it four car length down the back straightaway of C.J. Howell. Into turn number three and four. Coming down to pick up the checkers, car number two, C.J. Howell. Team. Freddie Blanchard in car number seven. Here we go, coming out of turn number four. Gary Greer, car number 13, he's going to be your leader. He's got the 11 car on the outside of him, going down the back straightaway. The flaming red-eyed beard, your leader, Gary Greer, car number 13, drops the number two spot. Fast Freddie Blanchard, car number 7B in third. Big Sexy, Cortland Smith, car number 15 in the fifth spot. Chris Dawkins in car number 20, making his way over to the racetrack. Second time to cover, come to the racetrack with us. Meanwhile, the flaming red-eyed beer, Cody Robbins driving Pork Chops car, car number 11, currently sitting out front. So Pork Chop. The pork chop ride dri being driven by the flaming red-eyed beard. That's a lot of words to say about one car and never say a name. Cody Robbins, car number 11, is your current leader. Gary Greer in second. Freddie Blanchard, car number B7 in third. Cortland Smith, car number 15, trying to get around Freddie Blanchard, car number B7. Two to go this time around. Cortland Smith, car number 15, he'll look to the inside of Freddie Blanchard as they go down the back straightaway. Down the front straightaway. White flags in the air. Freddie Blanchard back to the number three spot. Corlin Smith, car number 15, trying to get up there once again.
Jack Huckabee, car number 212. All right. We'll just call her Brittany. Brittany's your leader. Brittany into turn number one. Racing car number triple X in the number two spot. Jake Huckabee car number 212 in the number three spot. Jason Pelicacus in car number 60. Car number 60 in fourth. Trying to run around the inside of Jake Huckabee as they go down the back straightaway. Brittany. Brittany Shereen Graham. Car number triple X, your current leader. Triple X Junior. In the number two spots, followed by Jake Huckabee. White flag in the air this time around for Brittany. She comes off a of turn number four. Coming off a of turn number four. Here comes your winner, Brittany Shereen, driving car number triple X. Followed by Racine Graham in car number triple X, Junior, and Jake Huckabee. So Brittany is spawn number V8 on the back straightaway. He'll be your leader on, on the pole here. Outside of him, car number 57. That's going to be Chris Arthur. Levi Small, car number 14. Caleb Dillard, car number 85. Susie Bates in car number 21. And Terry Driggers in car number 7. Here we go. Myers, car number V8. He's going to be your leader down the back straightaway. It's three wide as they go into turn number three and four. Caleb Diller, car number 85. He'll get up to the number two spot. He'll get around car number 14 of Levi Small. And the 57 car in the third spot. That's Chris Arthur. Arthur drops back to the number four spot. Diller, car number 85 in second. The 14 car of Levi Small in third. Coming off of turn number four, here comes your leader, Alan Myers, car number V8, followed by the 85 car of Caleb Dillard. They'll start working a lap number three this time around. Alan Myers, car number V8, still your leader, followed by the 85 of Dillard. Myers, car number V8, your leader. He's led every lap so far. Caleb Diller trying, trying to run him down in car number 85. Michael Drigger throws a seven car completely crossways in front of the 57 car. Totally different cars, the way they set up and run. The 57 car, the wide body, lots of downforce. The skinny car, the much longer car, throws it in there a whole lot to, a whole lot deeper into the corners. White flag in the air this time around for Alan Myers, car number V8 out of uh, Sibley, Louisiana. Down the back straightaway. Dillard trying to run him down in car number 85. Larry's got his uh, checker flag ready to go. Here we go, coming off a of turn number four. It's going to be Alan Myers, followed by Caleb Dillard. Coming on with the number three spot, Levi Small, car number 14.
So Gary Greer, car number tr uh, X, he'll be your leader as they go down the back straight away. Chase Hatton, car number eight, looking at the inside of him already. They'll go off into turn number three and four. Chase Hatton, car number lazy eight in second right now. Gary Greer on the high side, driving the number X car. Trampus Garrett around at turn number one and two. Fires it back up, keeps it going. The eight car to the number one spot. Chase Hatton with Gary Greer following right behind him. Now Chase has been running his car for quite a while. Gary Greer just getting his car set up. Totally new deal for Gary Greer in car number X. He's driven the Modifieds out here. He's driven his factory stocks, he's driven a little bit of everything. But now he's driving this old Modified on these slick tires. Totally different world of racing and setup. Two to go this time around as car number eight. Chase Hatton brings him down the front straight away. So Chase Hatton, he's got a grudge race coming up here in a few minutes with Alan Lindau, the number 136 Volkswagen. Going off a of turn number four. Here we go. Checkers are in the air. So, Chase, you're trying to get the most popular driver or something, right? Tell me, tell me what's been going on. Yeah, they had a deal going on this week. See who get the most likes on their car and. Uh I wound up second to a dang 13-year-old, uh, old J.C. Howe, or C.J. Howe, whatever his name is, you know. Uh, but we ended up second, Caleb ended up third, and uh, this guy here tried to beat me, you know, he, he didn't even want in the in the drawing, he just wanted to see if he could beat me, and uh, this guy can't beat me. Man! So you got the old Lazy 8 out here, so what do you got to, to take him on with? Well, you know, I got a little LS power here. We'll see what happens. You know, I don't know if I can run with him or not. We're going to give it a shot. But, yeah, I made the, post, the picture post on there just messing with Chase here. You know, me and him were actually good buddies. But uh, <clears throat> I told him, I said, I was going to come out here to the track and take him, take him out on, on the track. So it kind of escalated from there. Now, take him on and take him out. That's two different words. Larry, what, take him out, take him out. What, take him on, take him out. It probably means take him out to eat dinner. Oh, okay, all right. So, got a dinner date out of this race there with. You thought it was something wrong. I'm just a negative person, I guess, you know? All right, so, you said you got an LS engine. What, what does the LS engine come out of? It came out of a O2 Yukon. Uh, it's 5.3 LS, fuel injected, all that good stuff. The car is built for enduro racing. Uh, but, you know, it's been pretty popular, so we've been getting invited out the tracks, you know, and having fun, racing with other cars and stuff like that, doing grudge races, stuff like this. Uh, but really, you know, it's for enduro racing. Uh, if y'all never seen an enduro race, October 4th and 5th in Mesquite at Devil's Bowl. It's the Lone Star 600. It's 300 laps on Friday, 300 laps on Saturday. Very interesting race to watch. Kenny Wallace will be there. They're uh, maxing out probably at 200 cars this year, and all 200 cars will be on the track at the same time. So it is very interesting. And don't forget the record's going to be cleaning up the race. All right, so he's got fuel injection. What do you got? I got a four-barrel carburetor. Four-barrel carburetor, slick tires. Both of y'all got the same slick tires. Yeah, uh, I think it'd be pretty even, you know. He he got the short wheel base, so he can get rear transfer going down straight away a little bit better. But, uh, you know, I, just, I got rear steer, I guess. I guess I got that going for me. I got a question for you, though. All this dampness in the air, what does this do to the track tonight? Does it make it a little bit slicker? Uh, it ain't really that much slicker. It kind of tore up there a little bit, you know, especially down here in three and four. Uh, just going to kind of take it easy going through there. Don't want to turn no left rears off or anything. Uh, but other than that, you know, racetrack's pretty good, just like it is always. Larry, how many laps are going? 6 laps. All right. You guys ready? It's time to get strapped in these things here. We're going to go up here and draw a ticket to see who's going to drop the green flag real quick.
We're ready to go? Oh, wait. Waiting to get uh, Tiffany with her camera here. She's supposed to be videotaping. So how many of y'all think that the Lazy 8 is going to win this race for six laps? How many of y'all think the Volkswagen, car number 136, the Valen Lindau is going to win the race? Oh, man. Chase, they're beating up on you already, man. Chase can hear you inside the helmet. All right, the motors are firing up. Six laps. Get the Toyota off the back straight away. All right, Chase is already showing up a little bit here for uh, Alan. Now that car is really pretty cool. It's a, it looks like it's a right wheelbase for a Volkswagen, but it's a whole lot wider than your average Volkswagen. So Alan Lindau, car number 136, bringing them around. Alan Lindau, car number 136, he's going to carry Chase Hatton through turn number one and two. Chase Hatton to the rear bumper. Lindau, your leader. Oh, look at this, to the inside of Lindau. Chase Hatton, car number eight, your new leader. Coming off a of three and four. They're side by side all the way around the track here. Lindau, where are you going, Alan? Alan tried to go out of the racetrack. <laughs> Chase is trying to hang a left at the mid straightaway. Watch those googly eyes on the front of that Volkswagen when he comes out of the corner. They roll all over the place. Alan Lindau, car number 136, your current leader. Look at those eyeballs as they roll around out of the corner. Alan Lindau, your leader out of Longview, Texas. Oh, the Volkswagen slips up. White flags in the air. This is it. One lap to go. Chase Hatton. Oh, the carburetor ahead of fuel injection. The Volkswagen gives him a shot in the shorts. Chase Hatton, car number out of the car. I think I found your problem, man. Come around there and check his tire out. Look well, at that big chunk of meat you got missing right there. I think that's it. No, that's Come on now. That's not that's not the problem. That's oh. So he's got his tire grooved over here. All right, so what do you think about the Volkswagen? Oh, it was definitely different, you know, racing with a different style car out there, especially a squirrely one like this, you know. <laughs> well, speaking of squirrely, at one point you were coming straight towards the flagpole a while ago. Yeah, I got a little throttle happy there, you know, just, just wanting how to run him so bad, you know. All right, what you got for him for feature night? Uh, hopefully I can uh, just, you know, do like I did in the heat race, you know, just get out front and kind of do my own thing. But uh, I think this guy here is going to run with us. He might uh, wad up some quarter panels, you know. You never know about this guy. All right. Alan Lindau in the red and black, Chase Hatton in the black and white. Ladies and gentlemen, we'll be racing our feature races here in a few minutes. Looking forward to some great racing action. Hey, and outside, car number 59 on the inside of row number two, driving car number 77, Brandon Miller. Jared Wallace, car number 54 on the inside of row number three, outside of him in car number 44, Roy Bodie. Here we go. Heat race number one. I'm sorry, feature event. 
It's going to be Edwards, your leader, in their turn, number one and two. Easton, car number 59, the number two spot. Brandon Miller, car number 77 and third. Bodie off the pace in car number 44. He'll drop back to fifth. Coming off of turn number three, it's going to be Edwards getting into the number 59 car of Gary Easton down the front straightaway. So Kerry Easton, car number 59, in second. Edwards, car number D3, is your leader. Jared Wallace, car number 54, in the number three spot. Currently sitting in fourth. Brandon Miller, car number 77. Jason Saunier, car number 38, currently sits in the fifth spot. Now Roy Bodie, car number 44, he gets a reel back in, and he's starting to move up, back up again. Car number three, GT, Bob Kellogg, in the seventh spot. Jason Ford, after having a great start, he's way back here in eighth spot right now. Billy Gould, car number 60, in the 10th spot. Edwards, car number D3, is your leader. Right now, the race is for first, uh, second and third. Kerry Easton goes to the high side. Look at the inside, coming out of turn number four. Car number 54, Jared Wallace, in the third spot. Brandon Miller, car number 77, is settled in the fourth with Jason Zonye, car number 38. 44 all the way to the top of the track. He opens the door for the three car of Bob Kellogg. Now the 44, as soon as he does that, he gets right back into the pace and he's gonna try to join back in there and try to get some uh, real estate back. So Edwards, car number D3, is your leader so far in this race with Kerry Easton, car number 59, sitting in the number two spot, followed by the number 54 car of Jared Wallace in third. In the fourth spot, Brandon Miller, car 77, and Sonia, car number 38 in fifth. It's been all Edwards. Once he got around Kerry Easton, he stretched it out to about a, oh, a half, a, half a straightaway. Down the back straightaway is your leader, Bob Kellogg, off the pace in car number three, GT. They come off a of turn number four, three wide. Brandon Miller still sitting in the number four spot. The 21 car has worked his way up to the long side of the 77 car. Kevin Peters, car number 21, has worked his way into the number four spot around Brandon Miller. 44 gets loosed through turn number uh, one and two. So Edwards, still your leader. Then it's number 59, Kerry Easton, second. Jared Wallace, the 30 car, has pulled off. That's Jason Ford. So right now, the race is between Brandon Miller, Bob Kellogg, for the number five spot right now. Kevin Peters, car number 21, has worked his way into the number four spot. Sitting good. Bob Kellogg, look at the inside of Brandon Miller as they go down the front straightaway. They actually bump as they go into turn number one and two. Back to your leader, Edwards. He has really checked it out. Good run for Edwards right now. Coming off of turn number three and four for the number two and three spot. Car number 59, Kerry Easton, currently sits in second, followed by the number 54 car of Jared Wallace out of West Monroe, Louisiana. Then it's Kevin Peters. I believe he's out of the Houston, Texas area. Followed by Brandon Miller, car number 77, out of Bro Bridge, Bro Bridge, Louisiana. About to get hit by Hurricane Barry. Brandon Miller says, nah, that ain't no big deal. We're going racing tonight. So Edwards is still your leader. But right now, the battle is for second and third. It looks like Jared Wallace might finally get around the number 59 as they come off at turn number four. Key, uh, Easton to the wall. So with eight laps to go, getting ready. You're going to turn number three and four. Edwards is your current leader. Kerry Easton, car number 59 in the second spot and the third spot belongs to Jared Wallace. Here we go. Wallace is gonna run off and leave Kerry Easton as they take off. And Edwards gonna kind of stretch back out to his lead once again. Kevin Peters, car number 21, around the inside of Brandon Miller. He'll pick up the number four spot. He sets his sights on number three. Leading to the inside of Brandon Miller as well as they come off a of turn number three and four. Down the front straightaway. Edwards, your current leader, followed by Jared Wallace in car number 54. Then it is Kerry Easton, car number 59, and he's got company on the inside of Kevin Peters, car number 21 out of Houston, Texas, looking for the number three spot right now. They go down the front straightaway. Leedy, car number 90, up to the number five spot. 
Miller will drop the six. Bob Kellogg, car number three, GT in seventh. Your leader right now, Daryl Edwards, David Edwards, car number D3, followed by Jared Wallace in car number 54. The 21 car in the third spot, Kevin Peters. So it's been a pretty good race here so far. Edwards has stretched it back out to about 100 yards as they go down the back straightaway into turn number three and four. Your flagman, Larry Horn, getting ready to get busy with the green and white of uh, the, the checkers. So Kevin Peters has worked his way to the rear bumper of the number 54 car of Jared Wallace with three wide coming off of turn number four for almost to the back of the pack. Huckabee, Williams, Gould, your leader, Edwards, car number D3. Jared Wallace out of West Monroe, Louisiana, still sits in the number two spot, followed by Kevin Peters in car number 21 in third. Two to go this time around for Edwards. White flags in the air for Daryl Edwards to David Edwards in car number D3 as they come off a of turn number four. Jared Wallace out of West Monroe, Louisiana, car number 54 in the number two spot. Kevin Peters, car number 21 in the third. Coming off a of turn number four, here comes your winner, Edwards in car number D3. Picking up the number two spot will be Jared Wallace in car number 54 and Kevin Peters, car number 21, to round out the field. Edwards is back around here in the D3 car. He's crawling out of the D3 car. Good run, man. You had him covered tonight. David Edwards, your feature winner. Thanks. Uh, yeah, that was that was kind of a fun track on the bottom, a little choppy, but we stayed clean, stayed out of the ruts, and it was fast. So what you got for him for factory stocks tonight? I don't know. I'm starting deep. I got got my axle broke on the first lap, and my crew, uh, Chance, my dad, Tony, Bubba, Ryder, Dakota. Uh, who am I missing? A bunch of them. They all had a helping hand, my brother and everybody, and Bubba and his sons, and I'm getting the car back going. All right, so is this a car that y'all build yourselves? No, this is an express race car. Okay, good run out here in the thing. Let's hear about the sponsors on it. Uh, my dad, for one, without him, we wouldn't be here. Uh, Alan Crawfish, Express Race Cars, AMS Racing Engines, Tony at uh, Green Acres Car Wash. Uh, K. Dillard Shocks, he's, he's got it on dig right now, so that's about it. All right, so coming out here in the factory stocks, that's the chassis y'all build yourself, though, correct? Yes, sir, that's the Edwards race car. All right, you think you can put that Edwards race car out front? If it zip ties a hole. There we go. Ladies and gentlemen, David Edwards, your feature winner. Come around here, we'll get your picture taken. They're racing with us, trying to build this class back up. Here we go, Mike Walling out of Houston, Texas, coming off a of turn number four, driving his orange and black, number 29W. All right, car number 29, that is going to be Mike Walling, your leader. He picked up a feature win out here earlier this season. Right behind him, Scott Fridley, car number nine, in the number two spot. The 21, oh, that's uh, E-Barb, car number 10, up to the number three spot. The 21 car, got a car around three, four, oh, we got a foul, we got a foul on the back straightaway. Red flag, red flag, Larry, red flag.
it's going to be Mike Wally in car number 29, your leader as they go down the back straightaway. Matt Ebar, car number 10, in the number two spot. Coming in the number three spot right now as they go down the front straightaway. Car number 22. He started as a back of the pack. He's worked his way up to the number three spot. That's Wella Buford, car number 22. Matt Ebarb still sitting in the number two spot, driving car number 10. Buford, car number 22, trying to run him down as they go through turns number one and two. Scott Fridley, car number nine, has dropped back to fourth. Mike Walling came out there last time. He picked up the feature win, driving car number 29W. He's currently sitting in the number one spot. Car number 29K, or 29K, I believe that's Kenzie Cook. In the fifth spot. Car, Your leader, Mike Wally, car number 29, still going by. Matt Ebarb, car number 10W, he's got company out of the number 22 car in the number two spot. That is Weldon Buford. They'll go down the back straight away. We got a car off the pace. So Mike Walling, car number 29, who runs down the back straight away as your leader, Matt Ebarb, car number 10 in the second spot, the 22 car trying to run him down of Weldon Buford. Well, Buford to the rear bumper. This is the best race right now on the track. Buford, car number 22, sets up high, dives down low. He'll try to run down Matt uh, Ebarb as they go down the back straightaway into turn number three and four. Mike Walling, still your leader, driving car number 29W, the orange and black car. Driving the American flag, car number 22. That is Wellen Buford, currently sits in the third spot. Matt Ebarb in the all black car with the yellow numbers on it, car number 10. These cars have little bitty tiny numbers. You can't see them. It is it is tough to try to figure out who is what in what car. Oh, we got a car going around. Car number 24 goes around in turn number two. So that is Ken Ogeo out of Alexandria, Louisiana. As he got a lap. Ten complete right now. Lights are out. Kind of a crazy lineup. Here we go. Mike Walling, car number 22 spot. Mike Walling, car number 29W. He'll bring him down the front straight away with car number 22 in the number two spot, Wellen Buford. Scott Fridley, car number 9X in third. Car number 30K, Cameron Cook up to the number four spot. Then it's the 25 car, currently sitting in fifth of Taylor Wineland. Taylor Wineland's got the all blue car with the blue light on the, on the dashboard, sponsored by Kmart. You can see him as he comes through the corners. You can spot that light on there. Fridley, car number nine, currently sits in the number three spot. Buford, car number 22 in second. And around goes Cook. The 30K car of Cameron Cook around the turn. I believe that is the 24 car of Kendall Gio in the number five spot. So Walling in the black and orange, number 24, he'll bring him off a of turn number three and four. With the 22 car in second, followed by Fridley, car number nine in third. Getting racy here for fourth, fifth, and sixth. They go three wide down the back straightaway. Cook, Cameron Cook, back up to the number four spot.
Taylor Wineland looking at the inside of the 4X car. Five to go this time around. Five laps to go from Mike Watling in car number 29W. Well, in Buford, car number 22, trying to move up here, sitting in the number two spot. He started at the back of the pack. He's worked his way a long ways to get the number two spot. Just can't get that number one piece of uh, real estate out there in the front. Car number nine, Scott Fridley, currently sits in the third spot out of Leesville, Louisiana. Two to go will be shown this time for Mike Watling, driving car number 29 as they come down the front straightaway. But Buford, car number 22 in second. Third spot as Scott Fridley has dropped back in car number nine. Cameron Cook, car number 30K in the fourth spot. And Taylor Wineland, car number 25 in fifth. White flag in the air for car number 29 of Mike Walling. The 22 car, your number two man, has just broken and has dropped off the pace. He parks his car in the infield. Checkers will fly this time around from Mike Walling, car number 21 out of Houston, Texas. Coming home in the number two spot will be Scott Fridley, car number nine. Oh, we got a car in the wall. Car in the wall in turn number four. Mic check. All right, here we go. Batteries are dead again. I don't know what the deal is here. Hey, as long as your batteries ain't dead, that's good. Mike Walling, the driver, car number 29W. Great run out here once again. Thanks. Uh, I was holding my breath about the last 10 laps. My car was running really hot. Uh, cautions were killing me trying to keep it cool. But uh, I want uh, all you guys, we're thinking about y'all over here in Louisiana. You know, get through this storm. Uh, thank God it's not too bad yet, but our prayers are with you guys. We like coming over here and racing in Louisiana. Uh, thank you folks for coming out here and supporting this uh, sport, which we like to do. And thanks to the track for having us. I'd like to thank Tanner Construction. Say hi to my dad. He had a stroke last week. Uh, he's at home, but he'd rather be here, I promise. And my daughter's here for the first time in three years, so it was a good night. All right. Good to have you over here. Came over to uh, Toledo Bend this weekend, correct? Yes, sir. We're staying over there, and hopefully the storm stays somewhere else. All right, Mike Walling, your feature winner, driving car number 29W. What's in car number 11? J.T. Turner in car number 35. Brian Cook, car number 100, to round out your top six cars. Here we go. Your feature event for the factory stocks here at Showtime Speedway. Down the front straightaway, Josh Ellinger. He'll lead them off to turn number one and two. Bo Perry, car number two on the high side. C.J. Howell, car number 12. Look at the inside. They're still side by side as they go down the back straightaway. Bo Perry, car number 12. He'll get to the number one spot just barely over Josh Ellinger. Josh Ellinger, car number 50 in the number two spot. Then it is car number 11. Cody Robbins in the number three spot, followed by...
Ryan Cook in corner with 100, and C.J. Howe behind him by about a quarter of a fender. They go down the back straightaway into turn number one, uh, three and four. Bo Perry, last week's feature event winner, still sitting up front, driving car number 12. Josh Elder, car number 50. All right, the, the one key car is off the track. Richard Tubbs takes his car to the pit area. Bo Perry, car number 12, continues to lead with Josh Elder, car number 50 in the number two spot. Cody Robbins, car number 11, sitting in third. Then in the fourth spot, working his way up, Brian Cook, C.J. Hound out here in car number 12. He's got a couple of feature wins out here already this season. Josh Allen, their brand new car this season, driving car number 50 out of the Houston, Texas area. Brian Cook, always a threat in car number 100, and never count out that 13, 14-year-old C.J. Howe, car number two. Here we go. That's your top five. Down the front straightaway, Bo Perry in the lead with Josh Elder, car number 50 in the number two spot. Cody Robbins, car number 11 in third. Brian Cook, we got cars all the way up to the top of the track. Gary Greer, car number 13 in the pine trees. He reels it back down, comes back racing with us here at Showdown Speedway. We're clean and green for that lap. Bo Perry, still your leader. Josh Elder, looking good. Car number 50 sitting up front with the number C11. Cody Robbins in the number three spot, followed by Brian Cook. Then it's J.T. Turner in car number 35 in the fifth spot. C.J. Howe, car number two, in sixth, in the seventh spot. It's a good race right now. Between Todd Freydu and Greenwald in car number 27. Back to your leader, driving the blue and white, number 12. That is Bo Perry, your current leader. And he started to stretch his lead out over car number 50, Joshua Elder. Now, Cody Robbins, car number 11, has been on his rear bumper the whole entire way, trying to work his way to the inside. They're two wide all the way through one and two for about the seventh, eighth, and ninth position. Back to your leader, Bo Perry, car number 12, is your leader. Josh Ellinger still looking good in the number two spot, but he has got Brian Cook, car number 100, starting to put some pressure on the number 11 car of Cody Robbins. Cody Robbins driving the black car with the orange numbers in the number three spot. Josh Ellender, car number 50, right in front of him. Bo Perry says, you guys race, I'm going to stretch out my lead. We got a car upside down. Car number 20 is upside down over in turn number four. That is Cody Robbins, car number 11 on the outside of the number three spot. In the number four spot, car number 100, Brian Cook, outside of him. In the number five spot. Jakey Turner in car number 35. Here we go, your top five. Bo Perry, he'll take right back up the lead. Here goes Cody Robbins side to side with Josh Young down the back straightaway. It's a drag race into turn number three and four. Car number 11. Cody Robbins, he's going to try to get to the number two spot. He's got it. He gets around Josh Elder. They get together down the front straightaway. Down the back straightaway. Cody Robbins, car number 11. He now steps inside on the number 12 car of Bo Perry. Once Bo Perry gets out front, he's tough to catch. Greenwald has worked his way into the number five spot, driving car number 27. Brian Cook never count him out in car number 100 in the number four spot. Josh Ellender, car number 50, currently sits third on the rear bumper of Cody Robbins in car number C11. However, Bo Perry is checking out with the lead in car number 12. Down the back straightaway, Bo Perry is still your lead over 50, oh, I see. 40 yards, like I say, 47 yards right now over here. 47 yards over car number 11. Battle right now for fourth and fifth. Greenwald, he goes around Brian Cook. Greenwald, car number 27, up to the number four spot. John, uh, JT Turner, car number 35. Up, oh, got a little shot here from the 11 car, a little love cap back to Greenwald as they come off of turn number four. Should be getting close to the halfway or just past the halfway point in this race. Car number 12, Bo Perry, your current leader, followed by the 11 car. 
We've got some great racing action back in the field. Gary Greer having a good battle with Corlin Smith in car number 15, along with Fast Pretty Blanchard and Stephen Greer back towards the back of the pack. But it's just as good in racing. They're not more than a half a lap ahead of them. So David Edwards, car number D3, he won the limited modified feature event a while ago. Right now, he currently sits about the seventh spot after starting deep in the field with this factory stock feature event. Bo Perry, car number 12, continues the lead. Car number 11, starting to lose some more of that sheet metal on that car. That is Cody Robbins. And Greenwald, car number 27, has worked his way into the third spot. He puts Josh Ellender back to fourth. Brian Cook, car number 100, in the fifth spot. Sixth spot right now, nailed down by J.T. Turner, and he goes around as we're talking about him. 35 around, and he'll take Dave Edwards, car number uh, D3, 3D, along with him. Perry, your current leader. Cody Robbins, car number 11 in second, in the number three spot. It is Greenwald. Here we go. Greenwall, car number 27, he'll go to the high side. Oh, to the very top of the track. He's gonna drop three, four, five spots. Cody Robbins, car number 11 to the number two spot. And Josh Ellender, car number 50, is back to third now. Brian Cook, car number 100 in fourth. Brian Cook goes around. He collects CJ, he collects, oh man. Robbins, car number a C11. Now, last time Greenwald jumped and went way high to the top of the track. You're going to see if he can hold it down this time. They're going to turn number three and four. Greenwald's going to hold it down to the bottom this time. He's going to stay right there with him in the number two spot. He'll get to the number two spot around Cody Robbins in car number C11. Bo Perry, car number 12, is your current leader. Robbins, car number 11, dives back to the inside. He'll go for the number two spot as they come off a of turn number four. It's Cody Robbins, car number C11, your third, uh, number two spot. In the fourth spot is Josh Elner, car number 50, followed by Edwards in car number D3. In the sixth spot, car number eight, that is Todd Fredu, followed by Fast Freddie Blanchard in car number 7B, Cortland Smith, car number 15. JT Tupper, the 35. Bo Perry, still your leader, but we got a good race here for second, third, fourth, fifth, sixth. Down the back straight away. White flags in the air in the summer round. Cody Robbins, car number C11, looks to the inside of uh, the green wall car, car number 27. Into turn number three and four. We'll pick up the checkers this time around. Down the back straight away. Car number 12. He's led every lap coming off a of turn number four. Oh, another spin, another one. Your winner. Car number 12. Got a Car number 12. Bo Perry picks up another feature win out here. He's out of the car, car number 12, Bo Prairie. You know, if you stay out front, you ain't got to worry about all the drama in the back, huh? Right, right. I mean, it's nice to be able to start up front and not have to worry about making a last lap pass or anything. That's good, but it was more of a show last week, though. Yeah, yeah, I guess you could say that. I mean, we love putting on a show, so I hope the fans still enjoyed watching it, though. Yeah, it was a good one. Let's hear about, how about sponsor on your car. Of course, like always, got to start off with my dad. He, he builds these cars, and... Obviously, they're fast. I mean, we've made it made it known this year. J&J um, &J Motorsports, JRP, 360 Insurance, Advanced Powder Coating, Superior Graphics, Superior Grill. Couldn't do it without any of these guys. My family, they support me each and every week. I mean, I just love to put on a show and win races for them. All right, Bo Perry, the driver of the number 12. Come around this side here. Let him get your picture here. Jacob Huckabee in car number 212. Jake Pelicacas in car number 60. Ben Shelton, uh, Ben McDuff, car number F5, your current points leader on the high side.
British Ring, car number Triple X, your leader down the back straightaway. Racine Graham, car number Triple X Junior. Hold on, hold on. Y'all come back down to the bottom of the track. It's short around there. Jackson, car number B51, currently sits in the number four spot. Trying to run down that number 60 car of Jason Pelicacas. number four spot right now on the inside of row number three. Brantley Jackson, car number B-51. And Jay Cockabee to round out the field. Jason Pelicacas in car number 60 in the number two spot. Here comes Racing Graham in car number triple X. Oh, oh, man, that ain't a slide job. That's just a move out of my way. I'm coming through. He'll park it up here. He he thought he was going to the Sonic. Going to pull up here and get him an order of fries. Throws it in reverse. Backs it up. Come on, green flag. Still going. Austin Wilkins is out there trying to wave him on. Say, come on, guys. Keep this race going. Ben McDuff, car number F5, your points leader. He's on the top of the track. <laughs> He's in the number three spot, trying to get around Racing Graham and car number Triple X Junior. Your current leader, car number Triple X. The pink, pink, grand, white cup. I believe it's a Pontiac something. Flag in the air, coming around to pick up the checkers. Car number triple X. Your winner, Brittany Sheree. Oh, she's gonna hit the wall and get the checkers at the same time. What a way to finish a race here. Race of Graham, car number triple X Junior, the number two spot. Ben McDuff, car number F5. Brittany Sheree, driving car number triple X. Brittany Graham, got the official word now. Brittany, I'm not sure what it sounds like. Sounds like it got a time bomb under the hood here. 
It was ticking like you had a time bomb or something under the hood here. Man, what a way to come back to get the checker flag on the record. You got to get the record in the picture. That just makes the whole thing here. Feature win, sparks flying. I'm sure Peyton got a good picture of the sparks. What happened? I uh, cut a tire down and coming coming from that corner, I was like, I'm not losing this from, from inches. So I just stayed in it. I figured he may be mad at me for hitting the wall, but I wasn't going to lose it that way. I don't, I don't like losing. Well, the thing about it is, second place was racing. Yeah, that would have been that would have been fun to see him get his first win, but I'm not I'm not a uh, I'm not one to give it to him easy. No, <laughs> you know when me and my daddy used to play checkers. When I finally beat him at checkers, it's because I beat him at checkers. Right, he'll have to earn it. That's it. Get over here. Look at your picture. Hey, let's hear about the spot. Uh, Hitman Designs, W and W Timber, Bulletproof Tees, J and J Motorsports. Summer Grove Auto Care, they actually just helped me put it back together yesterday. So, uh, looks like I'll have some more work to do. Go back and see Summer Grove again, huh? <laughs> All right, ladies and gentlemen, Brittany Graham, car number triple X. On row number four, we'll make it. Ken Mangum in car number 18 out of Bossier City, Louisiana. Your Arclitex Wing Modified is getting ready to go racing here for a 15 lap feature event. We're off and running. Caleb Dillard, car number 18, your leader. He's going to open up the door. Here comes Alan Myers to the inside. Down the back straightaway, side by side into turn number three and four. All the way through three and four, it's going to be Myers back to the number one spot by about a quarter length as they go by. Alan Myers, side by side with Caleb Dillard down the back straightaway. Levi Small, car number 14 in third. This time around, Caleb Dillard, he'll have the advantage on the high side. Alan Myers back to the number. Well, it's going to be Dillard for the number one spot for the lap number two. Down the, it through turn one and two. Levi Small, car number 14 in third. Michael Driggers, car number seven in fourth. And Caleb Dillard has finally started to stretch out the lead by about two cars. They go through turn number three and four. Caleb Dillard over Alan Myers in car number V8. Levi Small, car number 14 in third. Michael Driggers, car number seven in the fourth spot. And car number 57 in the fifth spot of Chris Arthur. Caleb Dillard, car number 50, uh, 85. Your leader down the back straightaway. Alan Myers, car number V8. The old skinny car trying to take on the big wide body. Car number 85 of Dillard. Michael Driggers, car number seven, currently sits in the fourth spot, in the fifth spot, car number 18. That's Ken Mangum and Susie Bates goes around him in car number 21. Car number 18 off the pace. Looks like he'll probably take it to the trailer this time around. Awful slow down the back straightaway as your leaders go by. Mangum gets the car fired back up. He'll stay out there for one more lap around. Caleb Dillard, car number 85, your leader, followed by car number eight, Alan Myers in the number two spot. Mangum off the pace, he'll go to the infield. Seven complete, caution is on the track. All right, here we go. Caleb Dillard, car number 85. Your leader, Alan Myers, car number 8 in second. Levi Small. Car number 85, Caleb Dillard, your leader. Here we go. Seven complete, eight to go. Alan Myers, car number V8 in the second spot. Levi Small, 14 and third. Caleb Dillard, your leader. He'll pick right back up where he was at. Alan Myers, car number V8 in the second. Levi Small, 14 and third. Terry Driggers, car number seven, in the fourth spot, followed by the number 57 car, Chris Arthur. Chris Arthur off the pace. Susie Bates goes around him here. 
Arthur at the top of the track, off the pace. Still in car number 85, your current leader, followed by Alan Myers, car number V8. The 14 car of Levi's Smaller third. Dillard brings them into turn number three and four. Myers in car number V8. Two laps to go this time around. White flag in the air for the Robolane Rocket. Car number 85. Caleb Dillard. Down the back straight away. Car number 85. Starts to work his way around in the lap traffic. Coming off a of turn number four. Here comes your winner, car number 85, Caleb Dillard. Followed by the V8 car of Alan Myers and the 14 car of Levi Small. Caleb Dillard coming out of car number 85, the Robolene Rocket, here he comes. Come around the front side here, Caleb, so they can see you, man. A little bit of Napa know-how out here, huh? Yeah, a little bit. Uh, just uh, Chris and Tim Beach, they never give up on me. Yeah. Even when I feel like it's not very good, we always make it a little bit better. It was, it was spot on for the feature. I don't know how close Alan was to me, but I could... Get through the middle really good, and I really didn't figure I'd be able to, but the uh, car was really good tonight, and uh, I want to thank all the fans for coming out. I hope you all enjoyed it. Hope I get some more cars and uh, performance graphics, uh, Tim Bates painting, Scotty Speed and Diesel, TCB Drywall, uh, Mr. Kevin Hightower for my engines, uh, my grandparents for coming out and watching me, and all the rest of you for coming. Thank you all. Hey, where's that uh, Pro Mod at tonight? Uh, I didn't really feel like messing with it, and Dad didn't want to drive it, and had a lot of stuff I'm wanting to try on it, and I ain't got it back together, so I just left it at the house. I heard your mom wanted to drive it. That's what I heard. I, I wouldn't mind. I'd love to see her. She used to powder puff, but I never got to see that, so I'd love to see it. But the whole family out here, huh? Yeah, I'm sure she would. Ladies and gentlemen, your future winner, car number 85, Mr. Caleb Dillard. Chase Hatton, car number eight. He'll bring him off down to turn number one and two. Gary Greer, car number eight, uh, X in the number two spot. Travis Gary, car number oh, two and third. Alan Lindows, car number 136 in the number four spot. Chase Hatton driving for the Ingalls family. Car number eight. Gary Greer. Car number X in the number two spot. Travis Garrett trying to run him down as they go down the box straight away. Travis 
Travis Garrett let it all hang out as he comes off a of turn number four. Travis Garrett, car number 02. Gary Greer goes up, steps up a line. Ga Halfway through this time around for car number eight. Chase Hatton, he's got one goal, and that's to catch up and pass that Volkswagen in front of him. Hatton's to the 136. Turn number four, here comes your feature winner, driving car number Lazy Eight, Mr. Chase Hatton. Driving a Ray Ingalls race car, car number Lazy 8. He'll be coming running out of this thing here in just a second. He's out, Chase Hatton, car number Lazy 8, your feature winner. Chase, man, talk to you again, huh? Yeah, uh, I'm glad I'm talking to you again. <laughs> when, when are you going to get some more of these guys? You don't run everybody off, they're afraid of you. Oh, I think, uh, man, I really don't know what to think, you know. They, They'll all be at Architects tomorrow, you know. I don't know why some of them won't come down here and, you know, uh, you know, if more cars show up and money, you know, go up, and, you know, so, you know, that, that would work out for everybody. All right, so ha have you had a chance to do the modified deal again with this thing, or was that a one-shot deal? Uh, that, was, that was just a one-time deal. You know, if uh, they run them again, you know, I'd come out here and, you know, run them with the modifieds again. Uh, you know, if another track was not running pro mods, but they were running modifieds, you know, why not go? That's it, man. Look good out here, man. Chase Hatton, car number eight. The Lazy Eight coming around the front side. They'll get your picture once again. Ladies and gentlemen, we hope you've enjoyed this.